Baba Nyonya food is a dying tradition in Malaysia, and we're in Chinatown, headed over to Canal Street to speak to Kyo Pang. Baba Nyonya are Chinese immigrants who came to Malaysia and Singapore between the 15th and 17th centuries. Baba refers to the men who traditionally cook savory dishes, and Nyonya refers to the women who traditionally cook sweet. So I'm a third generation of uh, Nyonya uh, ancestors, who are half Chinese and half Portuguese. Yeah. We are exposed to a lot of Chinese, Malay, and, and Indians, mm -hmm. and then um, all these are the, a good combinations. In Malaysia, we are all about the flavor. Kopitiam directly translates to coffee shop. Penang white coffee is a Malaysian favorite and is roasted in olive oil and handled to give a sweet and nutty flavor. Ooh. Thank you so much. You created this place after going around some like food festivals and like you had a stall. What made you want to get into this? I told everyone that um, I never thought of opening a cafe and then my girlfriend was like why are you trying to run away from who you are and then why don't you do something so I was like okay if I'm gonna do a street fair would you go with me yep. and she says yeah of course and I thought people wouldn't accept what it is because this is a very traditional delicacy within first half an hour we already sold out everything yeah this is kaya butter toast, and these gorgeous slices of bread hold homemade kaya jam between them. Kaya jam is coconut egg jam that's flavoured with pandan leaves, which gives it that green colour. So the sweetness is, is very distinct because of the palm sugar, but it's not overbearing and it's not strong. After you have toast like this, you kind of don't want to have regular toast. Nasi lemak has been anointed the national dish of Malaysia by many Malays, and it's no surprise why. Fresh chilies are fried together with shrimp paste called belacan and pounded with sugar and lime. This produces the sambal that crispy, delicious anchovies are served with. It's then nestled on a bed of rice and it comes with a hard boiled egg. For a lot of people, this is kind of heavy to have in the morning, yeah. but in Malaysia, we don't care. We need the flavors right. to wake us up. At all times. All we need times. flavor. All <laughs> times. Pulut in tea is a sweet dessert snack that's made by steaming gluttonous rice with coconut milk for about half an hour. Blue morning glory flowers are used to dye the rice into an almost marble-like color, and Kyo gets her flowers brought over from her mother's garden in Malaysia. The rice is wrapped in a pandan leaf and topped with grated coconut cooked in brown sugar. So I'm just gonna unwrap it. I love how it's like parceled into the banana leaf. Mm, that is just delicious. It's actually odd that I'd never think that you'd use rice in in, in such a like in such a dessert like manner, it's very common to have sticky rice mm. as a dessert. Mm. My dad is a second second generation, and you know, like for their belief is that you know, if you get a job in an office, you go to college, you know, this is a higher class right. of industry. When I say that I'm gonna you know quit my jobs and do this my mom was furious yeah my dad he's fine he was like as long as you know what you're doing growing up me and my dad were very very close yeah you know when my dad talked to me and then he talked about the food that he made he always seems so passionate right. like so happy yeah and I feel bad yeah because my dad is a famous chef back home and then I was like what if one day my dad was gone and then what then yeah. do you think he's proud of you I think so I hope you enjoyed that episode. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, and if you wanna see more, please click here to watch. <laughs> Sorry, the face <laughs> We're on our way over to the East Village to meet Imam Khalid Latif to speak to him about his halal butcher and up and coming restaurant, Honest Burgers.